Hey, what's happening guys? It's Mark back here from Mark's Aquatics. On today's episode, I thought we'd um, do a little review on this, um, this Gen Chem Polytase, which is um, designed for young shrimp. Yeah, the, um, the polytase applies a high amount of, um, of important enzymes and bacteria for your fish and your shrimp. It's a real high quality food, which increases the, uh, the, the survival rate of your, um, of your babies. It's a fine powder, which will cloud the water. And that's the reason why you mainly feed it at night and uh, you wait till lights out and it'll settle down then. As the, and you know, your water's gonna be clear again in the morning then which is good yeah if it doesn't clear after a while you probably you may have overdosed on it so um, cut back on your on your dosage next time that's what I've done before when I've used this stuff I have over overdosed on it before and it's left it quite milky the next morning as well but it does clear so don't panic if it's um, if it is clear uh, sorry if it's a bit cloudy the next day as well yeah some of the ingredients in here is uh, protease Lipase, amylase, bacillus, and subtilis. I think the, uh, the protease and lipase, amylase, all enzymes, obviously bacillus is, uh, is the bacteria, and the subtilis. Yeah, this stuff's mainly aimed at, um, at young shrimp that have, you know, just really emerged, or they're just a, maybe a week or so old. It's, uh, it really does help with their, um, their with their immune systems, and um, and gives them the best start in life really that they can get. They get all these enzymes and the uh, very similar stuff like to the Bacteriae as well. Um, that does a very very similar thing, and uh, you shouldn't actually use them with each other because they do they do contain different um, strains of bacteria, so they can work against each other. So be careful of that. Either use one or the other. This is what I normally tend to do. You normally find you normally find that a lot of your young shrimp die very early on in in um, in their lives because of the uh, because of this mal malnutrition stuff you know going on and and, and not having the uh, the enzymes to uh, to kickstart their bodies off and um, they're not really strong enough you see to get through these things so it improves their me their metabolic digestive system reduces um, you know ammonia nitrate. And I've always found if the, if your shrimp aren't active, busy, running around the place, you dose in some of this, and um, you'll find the next day everyone's hopping about, looking a lot livelier, um, and you just generally looking a lot a lot healthier. So it's an amazing it's an amazing little immune booster for them, and I yeah I recommend the stuff definitely. I can see the difference in my shrimplets already, and um, as you can see in this tank, I'll. I'll take you out of the cradle now and we'll go down and we'll look at some of the babies because there's um, there's quite a few in here now that they're, they're quite a lot bigger so they're a lot easier to see so we'll go downstairs and I'll show you some of them as you can see there there's no end of them on the uh, on that catapa leaf there there's a bloody Mary female there and a baby which um, have recently recently appeared but the um, but the yellow sakuras have actually, they've gone bananas. There's theres so many in here now, it's unreal. There's some more of the parents there. It's just like everywhere you look, there's uh, there's little dots of yellow and red at the moment. The tank's absolutely thriving. I did dose some of this last week. And on today's episode, we're gonna be dosing some more as well in the homemade feeder that we made. Like I said, if you're not familiar with that video, go back and have a look. There's actually two videos. There's one I did of a drip acclimator where I molded a plastic straw into, um, into a drip acclimator, which is quite a handy little gadget and it won't cost you hardly anything to make. And also a feeder bottle, which I used the same kind of uh, thermoplastic straws and created that as well. So there's two very easy, cheap things to make. Right, so we'll get on now, and we'll, um, I'll show you how to mix this stuff up in the feeder bottle, and, um, and then we'll add some to the tank. I'll see you stuff in. 
I'll give you another little update on the system as well. Let's see what scoop we got in there. Quite a long scoop because it's quite a long pouch. There's the scoop. I think we're going to do one level scoop of this stuff. What I tend to do is put it, put the scoop in, run it down the side of the packet, and then press it against my hand, and then just rub it up and down, and that just creates a. If you get it right, that'll give you a nice solid level spoon there, which is a nice wide neck on this little bottle, so we can tap that in there. Here he goes. Put that back in there. Seal that up nice. Let's smell this stuff. Let's see what it smells like. Oh my God, it's quite um. I used to do a bit of bodybuilding, it smells just like, it just smells like some of the bodybuilding powders to be honest, that I used to, uh, which I used to take, I'm not going to try this stuff mind. <laughs> right, we'll put the lid back on this, screw him on, and give him a shake. They say it's a good little design this, because you can shake it up, and you're not going to get anything coming out, until you squeeze it. I'll just pause you a minute and I'll shake up and get rid of all the uh, all the lumps. Right, okay guys, we're all mixed up. So now we will go into the shrimp room and um, we'll squeeze some of this in the tank. Like I said, they say to do it at night. I, th I think it's really because it's, it's going to make the tanks a bit milky. So instead of it being milky during the during the day when you can see it, you just do it at night. And um, and it'll cloud the, the water up over night time then so it'll be clear by the morning. I think that's probably why they say to do that. Right, so I'll pause you now and we'll go back in the shrimp room and we'll squeeze some of this stuff in and then we'll do a short review on the system and how things are going along. That is a little bowl where I've got some katapa leaves soaking in there to remove some of the uh, some, more, some of the tannins. And um, it depends how much you want in your systems. But as you can see, there's a big old couple of big old leaves in there. And I'm just softening them up. I'll leave them in there for a week and then release some of the tannins and then I'll put them into the tanks because I don't, I don't mind a bit of tannins in my system but I don't want loads of it I don't want it to look like that where it takes the colors away from the from the shrimp and you can't really see them for what they are then everything looks uh, looks brown the old plants are doing well I've got some seeds in there some uh, Indian almond uh, Katapa leaves, seeds, which haven't germinated yet, but they will in time. It's probably take a bit of time. There's my old meat there, which we carved. I don't know if you saw that one, but go back and have a look. You see how I carved that one in the workshop. Got myself some more older cones the other day. I thought I'd just put them there and leave them on the um, on the sticks. Okay, so we can here, which we made up. I'll give it a quick shake up. I left it here for a minute and I can open my sliding top move my little stick and if you can just put it squirt it into that flow there from the from the filter and then we'll slide that one back Open this side and we'll squirt some on top of that filter there as well and that'll push it around. And then we'll go back and you can see it then dispersing through. There you go, look at that. That's going to get all pushed and blown around the system now and settle on everything. And these little guys go wild for it. I say I've kept this this tank um, substrate free on the bottom just for a change just to see how we go so far everything's fantastic and everything's breeding really well some of the females are buried up again so it shows they're um, they're all happy like I said it's running at 200 TDS and the and the pH is uh, 7 in this tank and everyone seems to be really happy and thriving away which is really good news 
Right, we've got the top now. I'll just close this lid. And we can squirt some in there. There you go, look. I suggest you make yourself one of these little guys because they're so easy to make and they work really well. You can see you can hang them over the top there. Everything, they just, just sit there. I'll put some in this one now. Let that sink down. Looking forward to seeing these tanks kick off now. Like I say, I've actually got 20 in each. There's 20 F1s in there. And in the other tank we've got um, we've got 20 blacks and reds, the crystals in there as well. So that's all I'm going to put in there for the time being. I'm not going to put any more in there. I'm just going to let them breed, let them settle in. Let's take a bit more up this end. And let that disperse about. Now with this tank down here, I've had some older cones um, soaking in there as you can see. All that needs is a couple of sugars and some milk and I swear it would be a cup of tea. It's that dark isn't it? It's amazingly dark. But um, I've, got a, I've got a new plan in mind for this system. I'm going to keep the crystals up the top, I'm going to keep the neos down the bottom. But with this tank what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it. I'm going to get another piece of glass, I'm going to empty it out and I'm going to separate it right through the middle there and I'm going to have fresh water on that side and I'm going to have sea water on that side because I've got a female Amano shrimp in my aquascape who's absolutely full of eggs so I've done a bit of research on it, I've never actually bred them before but I'm really looking forward to giving it a go because of the larval stage and with them when they give birth to the egg, the eggs hatch into larval, into the larval stage and then we can put them then into this side and then we can watch them grow on and we can feed them different types of um, phytoplankton and all that sort of stuff. Like I say I used to keep marines so I've got quite a lot of knowledge about keeping marines and all the different stuff and um, we'll breed our own phyto. I'll show you how to make up a little reactor and we can make our own phytoplankton up which we can feed to them. And it'll be a really interesting journey along so um, to see how many we can get through the larval stage so that's what's going to be happening in this tank here so that'll be good fun I'll show you how I'll, do. I'll make a video of how I from start to finish on how we're going to separate it we're going to cut some glass we're going to put that across sil silicone that piece in take the filters out um, and really make it uh, really make it look nice and see how many we can get through this uh, through the larval stage to maturity which will be really good fun right then let's have a look at something else all right then guys i've just squirted the last of this stuff in now so we're empty so all we got to do now is take this to the sink give it a wash out and then hang it back up on the hook and it's done give it out and make yourself one of these you'll be glad you did and all for you coral people out there as well don't forget follow the instructions that i've made make this end a lot longer and you can use it as a target feeder for each in, an individual coral um, and it will make your life a lot easier it really will as I say I used to use these and I had some great success with them the target feeding who's that in there that is my female better who's just homed in on that mosquito on her tank she, she had a go at it just then I wonder what she was up to I bet that's just waiting to jump on me that is, I don't like them things. I don't like them at all. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you now. Thank you for tuning in. And um, I'm watching the video. If you do like the videos, please like, share and subscribe. And um, hit that notification bell if you want to see um, up and coming videos. And they'll notify you straight away. And as always, love you loads, you're all stars. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar